seen you're my forever partner in crime, my best friend in the world, and my second sister. And on behalf of all of us, we're so happy that you found love with someone as patient and fun-loving as Brett. tries to make Brett a better person. They make each other better, they really do. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. May God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. May the warm rays of sun fall upon your home, and may the hand of a friend always be near. May pure be the joys that surround you. May true be the hearts that love you. September stars and the pouring rain And I know that I can't ever tell you enough That all I need Welcome to Christine and Brett's fairy tale wedding in the woods if We could not ask for a more capable upbeat Irresistible addition to the family So we welcome you and all the Henningers with open arms and the decisions that you make together. Each and every act of kindness is both generous and evil. As Christine knows, I was a little nervous to write my own vows, so I did what any nerdy science major would do. I procrastinated, did a ton of research, and tried to make them as logical as possible. Then I realized one of the things Christine has tried to instill in me over the years is to focus less on logic and just listen to my emotions. So here we go. Christine. Everyone talks about falling in love at first sight, but I actually fell in love with you with your first words. Not that you weren't beautiful. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> as soon as you asked the score of the Lakers Celtics game, I thought, wow, this girl really cares about the NBA and likes the Lakers. I'm going to pull out all the moves. <laughs> don't worry, as I'm sure Clay will share with you during his best man speech, I don't have many. <laughs> so we started talking, and I found out that she actually was from Boston, loved the Celtics, and liked baseball players a lot more than basketball ones. <laughs> You would think that that would have deterred me, yet here we stand, five and a half years later, affirming our love for one another. I guess if we can overcome a hated sports rivalry and liking each other's favorite sport the least, we can overcome anything. Putting all jokes aside, I have some things I really want to share with you. You make me the best possible version of myself. You keep me grounded while still allowing me to have fun and let loose. You hold me accountable while making sure I don't ever take life too seriously. And most important of all, you love me for who I am. I cannot ask for anything more. In return for this, I promise to just listen when you need to vent and not offer a solution, even though I know I have a great one. I promise to not die before you, as I know you cannot live without me. I promise to root for the Red Sox and Patriots, unless they're playing the Dodgers or Raiders. I promise to take you out for dinner after a long day at work, because I know you do not want my cooking. And <laughs> in here. I vow to be the best husband I can possibly be, to love you through the best of times, and more importantly, through the tough times. I vow to love you and cherish you more than anyone, besides our three, or if you have your way, four future kids, and to always have your back. 
and most importantly, I vow to love you for who you are, which is my perfect companion in life. I love you, Christine. Brett, I feel so thankful to have found you, and I can't wait to spend my life with you. At the time we met, we were both enjoying our lives at Cal Poly with no idea the other one existed until a girl with a love for Boston sports asked the boy following the Celtics Lakers playoff game on his phone at work what the score was. We did not write this. <laughs> she wowed him with her knowledge of sports and he impressed her with his ability to make her feel so comfortable. Once they were able to get over the Boston LA rivalry, they both knew there was a spark between them. It is crazy to think how one day can change your life forever, and I'm so grateful for that day. Brett, there are so many things about you that I'm thankful for. Your unconditional love, your support of me, both emotionally and financially through grad school, for being my family since mine don't live close, and always being ready for a hug when I've had a tough day at work. You truly understand me, but more importantly, you accept me for who I am, even being a Boston fan. And I am thankful for everything you have brought into our lives, and I look forward to what's to come. Today, I promise to give all of my heart to you for the rest of our lives. I can't promise that I will always be at my best, but I promise that I will always try. I promise to support you in whatever you choose to do, and I promise to try not to scream as much as the TV when the Pats are playing. <laughs> you are truly my best friend and my perfect match. I appreciate our similarities, like our love for sports and our families and Tucker. And I appreciate our differences, like our idea of a perfect Saturday. <laughs> Mine being full of adventure and exercise, and yours, well, not. <laughs> <laughs> but it's in those adventures or those lazy Saturdays where we build the best memories. And I can't wait to continue our lives together, building more lifelong ones. You are everything I'd ever hoped to find in a husband and more. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world to be standing next to you right now, surrounded by our family and friends. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us, to build a family together and adopt more dogs. <laughs> I know that no matter what life throws our way, we can make it through together because we always have and we always will. You are my best friend and the love of my life and I can't wait to call you my husband. My love for you will continue to grow just as it has over the past five years, and I promise to cherish you every single day. I love you so much forever and ever. <laughs> you are more special to me today than yesterday. You are more special to me today than yesterday. <laughs> and you will be more cherished tomorrow. And you'll be more cherished tomorrow. Please wear this ring as a symbol of my love for you. Please wear this ring as a symbol of my love for you. A love that transcends a love that transcends all of our yesterdays, todays, and tomorrows. All of our yesterdays, todays, and tomorrows. Okay, Christine, please repeat after me. <laughs> you are more special to me today than yesterday. You are more special to me today than yesterday. And you will be more cherished tomorrow. And you will be more cherished tomorrow. Please wear this ring as a symbol of my love for you. Please wear this ring as a symbol of my love for you. A love that transcends. A love that transcends. All of our yesterdays, todays, and tomorrows. All of our yesterdays, todays, and tomorrows. <laughs> Are you tired? Yeah. May the true meaning of these rings always bring you hope and joy. I am so very pleased to pronounce them to be husband and wife. Brett and Christine, you may seal your promises with a kiss. <laughs>
I'm so grateful for our friendship. Learn that fact, I'm actually the godmother of Tucker. Um, that's because I was there when they picked him out. I don't think Brett was ready for the debauchery that happened when we went to Petco and he literally had to buy the entire store to be ready for his homecoming. And I know he wasn't ready when Tucker refused to be outside or when Tucker got the doggy stomach flu the first week we got him. <laughs> Multiple times. <laughs> but I know that seeing Christine as happy as she was to take him home made it all worthwhile. Uh, Brett's a very laid back guy. Like, we never fight at all. We never argue anything like that. Uh, so when I came down and you know we kind of got in this weird argument and I don't know why he was upset. Um, <laughs> But then all of a sudden he kind of just blurted it out and he was like, why don't you like Christine? And of course that was not true at all. Uh, but he was under the impression that I didn't like her. And it, like, I could see the pain in his face and he was upset. Um, and it was that moment that I actually knew that she was someone special because the fact that he would get so upset about it, um, just I knew that she meant a lot. We like to celebrate. We're a family who likes to celebrate. And the Hennigers are a family who likes to celebrate. And for us, celebration is about fun and laughter and love. The first time I met Brett was at Jody and Steven's rehearsal dinner the night before they got married. Um, then the next day, he actually wasn't invited to the wedding. We, we left him alone at our house while we all went to the wedding. And I remember driving thinking to Mary, are we okay with this? Is it, do we, how well do we know this guy? <laughs> but he, everything was fine, and he, he, he got to come to the wedding later, and, and, and he had a good time. She's always going to be my baby. As the youngest of three with two older brothers, there were lots of trials and errors with boyfriends throughout the years. Mary and I knew that it would, it would really take somebody special to spend the rest of their lives with our daughter. And I mean that with all the love in my heart. And this wedding doesn't have a theme, but I'm going to give it one. Let's celebrate. You gonna kiss me Put this together for this little...